Go half flaps. Half flaps? Yeah. Full flaps. Neither one. Full flaps it is. And we're off. Oh, okay, no, he's no. off. Okay, what? I've been so excited for this plane for a long time to finally hit the market. And you might be saying, Abby, you guys had this on the channel like a year or so ago. What do you mean you're excited? Because they finally geared this Aeros Bigfoot plane toward beginners and made a ready to fly version with flight stabilization. That's why I'm excited. I don't think I've ever flown the Bigfoot. mom brain i just can't remember and i didn't take the time to look at our old videos so if i had flown the bigfoot it probably wasn't a very good flight and so i'm super excited to show you guys the features of this and uh, nate and i will probably talk about just some of the differences between this version and the plug and play version that we he has so let's fly okay so i'm gonna take off in stability mode so i'm gonna taxi it down which I'm terrible at taxi. Well, you're going too fast. Woo! You're going a little fast. A little fast for taxi. <laughs> terrible at taxi. Just go. Terrible. All right. Go half flaps. Half flaps? Yeah. Full flaps. Neither one. Full flaps it is. And we're off. We're off. Okay. Oh He's off. Okay. What? You are. You're always. Oh, yeah. Go. Fuzzy. Yeah. Go. We're off. We're off. Okay. Oh He's off. Okay. What? You are. Why would you. Why would you let that stall like that? Why would you do that? Okay, I cannot believe what Abby just did, first of all. I'm embarrassed for you. Thanks. Secondly, I did give this a strong visual inspection and everything seems to be fine, which I can't believe. I said half flaps for a reason. Said, well, we didn't say, but durability! Yeah. You're welcome, everybody. Test that for you. All right, let's fly this thing. Okay, let's just, now that my brain's turned on, let's yeah. not fly like that again. And yeah, don't you don't need full elevator either, which is what happened. Okay, let's fly. Go ahead and take off. You're good. Okay, if that happens and you guys are flying, remember, uh, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> don't do what I did. Don't do what Abby did. <laughs> and power through that. So like, I don't know what happened there, Abby. I, we all have brain farts. Okay, listen, we all have- The brain wasn't on. I throttled up really hard and really fast, which was kind of dumb. And then when it took off so fast, I throttled down really fast. Mm-hmm. And- You just let it fall out of the I sky. just gave up. So the best thing to do if the nose gets up in the air like that is like full throttle. That beep that you're hearing is a one minute timer that goes off on this radio. We saw that on the Pioneer as well. So that's normal. Every minute that radio will beep. So that's kind of like, a cheaper or mu more budget radio, uh, the way it's going to help you keep track of your flight time. I will say, I mean, durability. Oh my gosh. I, just nosed I know. I know. <laughs> okay. Oh he's off. Okay. What? You are. I can't believe it. That's, that is the, I, I when Abby did that, <laughs> I, I turned the camera off and guys, I have to say I was voicing some pretty strong disappointment in what, what, what occurred because <laughs> made in flight, like, 1.2 seconds in the air and then crunch. I thought it was yeah. done. I've been long overdue for a dumb crash. I guess. So I don't think I've crashed since my prop strike on takeoff. So this seems appropriate. Oh, so that Apparently should. I struggle on takeoff. The simple fact that you just went like 15, maybe 10, 10, 15 feet, maybe 10 feet out of the air and straight, <laughs> I mean, vertical down onto asphalt. <laughs> I gave up and I shouldn't have given up. I should have tried to fight. Oh man. You gave it a true durability. But look at it test. now. Yeah, it's flying. So, what do you think about now that it's in the air? So, I've always wanted to fly this. I don't remember flying 
your plug and play version. Uh, you might have a mile high or so. Maybe. It's been a long I, I time. I think that you helped me get some chase drone shots of it at one point in time, which means I flew it up really high, passed the controls to you, and at that time you were not droning. Yeah. So, um, at least not chase drone shotting. And I then got my drone in the air really fast. I landed the drone and then you would hand the controls back to me like three or four mistakes high and then, and then uh, I would land it. So one of my favorite things I remember about the old Bigfoot, the plug and play version, is the lights. The you lights know, are amazing. It has this bright, bright, bright headlight. Get a little lower so we can see it. Ease off on the throttle because you're cooking it this whole time. And I think Nate said it didn't do this mm. on his plug and play. My Bigfoot. The foot. lights blink on the side. Well, so well, you got the green on the right yeah. wing, and then on the left side, you have red. And white on and both. White. Uh, no, I, I believe my lights are solid. I, I think there's just different ways you can set that up and program it. But yeah, ready to fly, it has flashing lights, which I think look better. Now the headlight's a solid light. Well, this is flying really good. Yeah, obviously. And honestly, guys, if you are a beginner, don't let my dumb takeoff scare you. Honestly, I did everything wrong. That was like the worst possible thing <laughs> like, you could I do. Mean, go back and watch it. I I'll, I'll replay it again. <gasps> okay, oh he's off. Okay, what? I think I'll just full juice it up and see. <laughs> and then for some reason, you decided to. I completely oh. killed the throttle when I, I panicked and that was just really dumb. I can't believe you did it, but you know, it just shows you we all make mistakes and we all have brain oh, farts no matter how long we've been flying. I don't know why I did that. I think just dumb confidence. <laughs> Something <laughs> happened there. Yeah, I, I don't get it, but that's okay. So this airplane has three different flight modes and you are in the beginner stabilized flight mode. Yep. Basically, if you take your hands off of the controls mid flight, this plane will auto level. What? So there you just go. She like just that. took her hands. Wham! She's testing it. Try it again there. Go oh, okay. so bank. Turn and, off. and it's auto leveling turn really well. Off. So you take your hands off so the even, controls. It's even leveling out a little bit too, you guys. So the flight then stabilization then is then the same Nose one. Down, off. See? It's Pretty the cool. same one that we saw in the Pioneer ready to fly little micro park flyer. And I was extremely impressed with it. Now there's two other flight modes. There's a, an intermediate mode, which is basically just it's going to level, guys, it's similar to AS3X, okay? It's gonna- Have it in there right now. And it's all the way back, right? The third position? All the way back, yeah. Okay, so the position closest to you on the radio is the beginner flight mode. Oddly enough, the, what I would call intermediate flight mode, which she's in now. You notice I got a lot higher. <laughs> yes. It's in the furthest away position, which is just, it's gonna make small adjustments to the airplane to help it fly a bit smoother. Uh, if it gets a strong gust of wind or something like that. See that loop? I did. I got the whole thing. Didn't say anything. The, well, Chris, I'm, tell me good job. I'm trying to finish one thought process <laughs> before going to the next. Which we I'm, don't do that. We're really bad about that. The third flight mode is just everything off. It's just a normal airplane with no assistance. And what I think is really weird is it's in the middle position. That was a beautiful roll. That, oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> and there you go. So she has that beginner flight mode. That's why I'm so hot. <laughs> I forgot mid midway through after I did that roll I forgot that I was in regular mode and gave it too much aileron and then I panicked so and the uh, middle flight mode is just everything off I, I just think it's weird that it's it, I feel like it should be in a different um, order it should be beginner flight mode then intermediate then advanced I, I don't like that order but otherwise um, I'm impressed with everything I think what one thing people might be disappointed in is the transmitter uh, as a ready-to-fly setup for this size and quality of airplane I would have liked a bigger more hobby grade feeling radio uh, but it's getting the job done and it clearly has no range issues and I love flying the Pioneer with that radio so first impressions of it are going to be kind of like a little disappointing but it's getting the job done and i'm okay with that one minute <laughs> hmm. 
One more minute. Well, another minute went by. I think Abby and I on the way up, we were talking about the radio and we said this would be a really good first hobby grade, ready to fly airplane. Learn a lot on it. Learn all the flight modes on it, which is what Abby's doing now, switching flight modes. And when you get comfortable with this airplane, upgrade the radio. Go to something else, Futaba, Spectrum, Tactic, whatever you want, whatever's in your budget, and then continue flying this airplane that you're comfortable with on your new radio setup, and then all future purchases you can do like bind and fly, plug and play type of thing, and really save some money in the long run. So I would, the first thing I would do is upgrade the radio, maybe upgrade your charger, but this does come with a charger and a 3S 2200 milliamp LiPo battery. So uh, it truly is a ready to fly setup. You just need four AA batteries for the transmitter. And, and Abby's doing this all, the entire time. While I'm talking, she's flying extremely confidently. I, it's really, I can't believe that, that crash that you had. It's almost like it was intentional, like you were. It wasn't. I'm just not dumb. <laughs> it looked intentional. Like I could not, I, I would struggle to ever do that on accident. <laughs> And I would really struggle to do that on purpose. Welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> you have had a couple of bad days. Uh, just yesterday. Sometimes, you know, you have to use your brain sometimes. It helps. And uh, sometimes I'm just not ready to use my brain to fly. Yesterday you were practicing some baton and you caught it with your you left know, hand. Let's blame that. That I have a bum thumb right now. You do. Like, I can't um, bend my thumb, she my left thumb all the way. bent her thumbnail back really yeah, far. My thumb may fall off. It could. I don't know. But you're still flying a plane with I that thumb. I still fly a plane, so we're <clears> doing good. So I think I'm going to start thinking about landing. Well, you've you've shown off how easy it is to fly. I'm really impressed with the rolls. I'm excited to um, practice rolls more on this plane. Have flaps uh, if you're going to land. Because it was, um, I don't know, super agile. More agile than I yes. think my Valiant is. See? I love this airplane. That's why I've kept mine for so long. Mine is a plug and play. Just needed a receiver and I have a dumb tactic receiver in mine and that's how I still fly mine a bunch. I would do half flaps if I were you to help slow it down. And she's walking out there now. Yeah, come back here. I don't know why you walked way out. She's trying to see. I guess I, I must be blocking it. Yeah, half, just half flaps. Keep that auto level on and uh, you're definitely too high and too okay. fast. <laughs> okay, you got this. So she's focused pretty hard on landing right now. Um, the nice thing about this airplane is now Abby's maidening it, and so she's not as comfortable at flying it as I am, but it can do short takeoffs and short landings like no other. And, and I'm actually pretty excited to try to fly this myself in a future video on the channel because I want to see how how it feels compared to the one that I've flown probably well over a hundred times. I love my Bigfoot. That was a pretty good landing. That's far, but you got it down. down and it's better than my first takeoff. Yes. Since I landed and the camera turned off, I think Nate has said, I can't believe you crashed like that about 20 times. That's a lot. <laughs> and honestly, I can't either. And I am pretty surprised, happily, pleasantly surprised at how minimal the damage was. Dented, kind of cracked nose cone there on the end. That is an easy, easy fix. Oh yeah. My prop has some scratches on it now. That's an easy fix. My foam kind of crunched, not too bad visibly from far away. Can't even tell close up. It's not a huge deal because it's foam. Most people's foam airplanes start looking like this pretty quickly. Um, any crash you can walk away from is a good crash, even if it was a stupid crash. <laughs> In my case, it was. And I will own it all day long how dumb that was. And I will forever live in embarrassment because that is going to be on me. That's a big, that's a big one. I get to bug you about that one for a while. <laughs> hey, look at the that's lights. Okay. As long as I'm flying, that's all that matters. What's up? Uh, I want to show everyone the lights okay. now that we're close. They look really good, you guys. Oh, yeah. And then the headlight is my yeah, favorite light. the headlight light. is my favorite. That's why I'm so excited that this is a ready to fly setup now. Um, one thing though, I want to make sure if you buy this, if you're a newcomer and you're looking for ready to fly planes and you decide to pick this one, 
make sure at the same time you check out the Academy of Model Aeronautics. They're an insurance company, they're advocates for the RC hobby, and if something bad were to happen, like you crash and possibly hit something or someone, they step in and help cover the cost of the damages. And in a hobby like this where anything can happen and any type of failure or accident can happen, it's important to know that you have somebody in your back pocket that's gonna help you out in case an accident does happen. So I'll have that link down below for you guys to check out. I highly recommend anybody who puts planes in the air is a member of the AMA. Well, I am so happy to have a Bigfoot flight under my belt, even though I don't have a belt. Uh, so happy with my second flight attempt. We're mm -hmm. just gonna forget about the first flight. <gasps> okay, oh he's off. Okay, what? This performed extremely well in the states in the stability mode um it snapped right back it even as i was nosing down leveled off yeah, right, leveled sort off. of <laughs> sort of uh, not on your first takeoff well that's because i was dumb and you didn't have any power on yeah i mean it can still crash you guys in <laughs> stability mode it can still crash it will still hit, still hit the ground if you give it no power it's going to go down but as long as you're trying instead of See, I, there's fight, flight, and freeze. And I froze on my first takeoff. So that was completely my fault. But once you get it in the air and you're starting to learn how to turn, learn how to use rudder and aileron, what the elevator does with up and down, it's gonna help you out a lot. And then when you wanna start learning loops and rolls, you can flick that switch in and out of the stability mode and you're gonna be able to learn those without the fear of losing control, which I did right after my first loop. I got scared, I flipped it back into stability mode and it leveled out. So I'm super happy to see that they took this plane and made it perfect for a trainer plane because that's what this is designed for. And also, it's a trainer plane, but it is seriously one of the most fun planes I have to fly, especially for the price. Yeah. So I'll have this link down below, and this is ready to fly, you guys. Plane, transmitter, battery, and charger. Everything you need to get in the air comes in this box, which is super impressive, and it's under $300. So if you like this plane, if you've had your eye on it, but have been worried that it might be a little too advanced for you, now's the perfect time to pick it up with the ready to fly. And if you use our link, it doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps support my family, our channel, and just what we're doing here on YouTube with our free content. Well, for an amazing evening, a beautiful evening, a funny crash landing, and a great flight with a decent landing, I wanna thank God. Also wanna say a huge thanks to our patron family members. You guys are the backbone to our channel. The reason I am not afraid to fly on the channel anymore, we can count on you and we just really appreciate it. All right, I'll have Nate Maiden of the Bigfoot Plug and Play. Ah, no, I have my other, my most recent flight of the Plug and Play. That was a fun one. Okay, Nate's most recent flight of his Bigfoot will be popping up right about now. We'll see you guys over there. Bye.